What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. So as you guys can already imagine, as you guys have already heard, the Supreme Courts have overturned Roe v. Roe v. Wade. The kids get to live. The babies get to grow up. The babies get to have futures, okay? God bless America. Now, here's the thing about it, people. A lot of people are fairly ignorant to what the situation is behind the Supreme Court's overturning Roe v. Wade. Here's the thing. The overturn of Roe v. Wade does not demolish abortion. It doesn't, okay? A lot of people was under the assumption that it was unconstitutional to um, limit a cut abortion. It is not. It has never been against the Constitution. Only difference now is that it's not on a federal level. It is on a state level, okay? That means it's not all across the board. It's determined on a state level of what they choose, okay? So, no, abortion has not been demolished. But, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, it's a life, okay? I don't care about all this fetus talk and all that silly shit right there. It's a life, regardless of from the moment of conception, it's a life. Quit trying to make yourselves feel good about murdering babies, okay? About killing children in the womb by saying, oh, it's a fetus. This is legal. That's legal. No, 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 no. It's immoral. It should, it should be illegal. And that's my outlook on it. Now, here's the thing about it. I'm not going to run on with this video. You know, I just want to bring news to you guys. A lot of people feel really frustrated about it. The way I feel about it as a man is that, <clears throat> honestly, you know, I couldn't give a damn less. Me as a man, okay, as a male, I don't have any say-so in that woman's pregnancy. I have no say-so at all, whether than unless she chooses to allow me say-so. So why uh, the simps out there are hollering about, you know, oh, well, women this, women that. We don't have no say-so. You as a man, you don't have no say-so at all. You never have, you never will. Okay, well, I don't know about never will, but you don't for the moment. And a lot of the women out there who are having issues with this, then keep in mind, you have to look at whether you're in a blue state or a red state. This may actually be conducive to abortions in certain states. You know, you have to keep an open, logical, factual mind about this stuff. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am very happy. You know, the Supreme Courts have made the right decision. Okay. This should be up to the states and it shouldn't be federal. Okay. It shouldn't be one way all across the board. It just shouldn't. You know, hell, let me tell it as a man who has no say so in it and probably never will have any say so in it. It needs to be abolished as a whole. The baby should be able to live. Okay. Period. You know? Well, anyway, hey, look here, y'all. I'm, I'm going to do another video explaining Roe v. Wade to you guys in factual details, okay? And a little bit more on this topic, probably later on tonight, either tomorrow, you know? But, hey, this is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what I said. Um, as a man, as men, should we really care whether or not Roe v. Wade was overturned? You know, hey, is this living organism? Is this baby? Okay, is this innocent, God given baby guilty for some reason and should be aborted? I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Follow out.